Good morning, my name is Sheldon, and today is December 11th, 2019. It's the 210th day of being 28. We are now seven months into this project, and lately I've been feeling tired and sore, mostly because this week I had personal training, and the coach killed me, especially with my quads. I just feel the pain throbbing on and on, so I better get a bigger butt. <laughs> that is my goal eventually. But yes, I do have work today, which means I'll have the next two days off, Thursday and Friday, which is different from my usual schedule, but I don't mind it. <clears throat> this morning, I'm trying to finish all the Christmas decorations. Everything should be finalized. You know, it's just like after dress rehearsal <laughs> and whatnot. But yes, currently I'm trying to figure out how to transfer files from my phone onto my MacBook, but it's not so easy because apparently the wire that is used cannot be detected on the MacBook. Needless to say, it's been a long morning. It's currently about 9.17 right now. So until I figure that out, I'll still be using my iPhone 8 for video footage. But yes, if you look at the camera quality, it's quite the difference. But yes, so in the meantime, I'm probably going to get ready for the day, probably going to edit some videos. And then my brother also shared with me his Spotify account. So I think I'm going to start transferring all my countdowns. So I've started a music blog a long time ago, but I think I only started my countdowns back in 2012. Otherwise, it would have been perfect from 2010 and then going into my countdown for 2019. Stay tuned for that. There's a lot of songs. My aunt just got to the house, so we're gonna take a time away from the computer and the phone. I really don't have any clue what's happening with the USB connection, or if it's the phone, or if they configure something. I tried contacting Apple. They said I have to contact Samsung. So we'll have to do that later, maybe tomorrow on my days off, that's fine. But yes, let's get to the final installment of the decorations. Then your aunt comes with more Otaru. Okay, I guess we can eat before going to work. I mean, putting Christmas installations, but take out joy. So it looks like we're using a wooden ladder because my aunt needs assistance with installing this wooden stool panel. I don't know what it is. It's a dowel? It's right over there, that little wood device. A wooden stick, which costs $30 by the way, just so we can place lights across the two beams right over there. Have no idea how we're gonna do this, but it's all good. Stay tuned. So basically what we want to do is place the dowel between this pole and this pole. And what my aunt is suggesting is using the hooks to keep them together. So there'd be two hooks on one end and then two hooks on the other end. This should be fun, right? When the bird is watching you, making sure that you're okay. Thanks bird. Oh yeah. We managed to get one side done so far, so now we just gotta do the other side. Be careful! So the current problem that we're facing is the fact that the plug outlet for the ball cannot reach the icicle lights. So we need to find an extension cord, however, all the extension cord, the plug part, it's not fitting Oi. so we need to come up with some kind of solution as my aunt tries to scare me while i'm on a ladder Oi. see always fun and finally it's done we have the icicle lights which are connected to the snowballs with the birch trees and the snowflakes so it's all done and now i need to get ready for work just heading to work now and hopefully I'm not late 
It's only about, what, 2.28 at the moment. I should be able to make it in time. I don't think it'll be too busy of a day. But then again, it's a Wednesday. You never know. Still gotta pick up my packages from the States. I don't think everything has shipped yet. I think some will come by the end of this week. Some will come by next week. So, the one product that I am aiming for though, I don't think it'll come in time for my Christmas party. It would have been the cherry on top. When we finished decorating, or finished installing those three lights, it started to rain. Talk about timing, right? Puppy love. Oh, oh, oh. Not a puppy love. Oh. I love this song from S Club Juniors, especially the music video, because the singer of the song, the male lead, he has a crush on Rachel Stevens, one of the best members of S Club 7. Yes, and I guess you could say that's a Christmas song. It was actually featured in the movie Love Actually. Actually. But yeah, that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. A lot of people really like Elf though. What other Christmas movies do I like? Christmas with the Cranks? I really like the music in that one. Or, I don't know. I guess a lot of people tend to watch The Sound of Music during Christmas. Right? Nothing like musicals. Yep, tis the season of Mean Girls. And La La Land. Yeah, those ones are good too. Despite not having a lot to do this evening, my co-worker and I have been jamming out to Chinese pop music, especially to Gem and Mayday, which I newly discovered, and they have a new song with Jay Cho, which might be added to my countdown now. But yes, I'll be releasing all my countdowns from 2012 to 2018 once I figure how to use Spotify. And so far, it's kind of confusing. The title was very basic and simple, then again, it's been one day, so I'm pretty sure I'll appreciate all the value there is on Spotify. And I do also like the fact that you can choose to opt out of explicit music, which is like me, totally clean. But yes, let's continue the night. I'm sure we'll get through it quite quickly. I'm drinking out of a Santa cup, but I don't know why they may left Santa's head clear but got a fine meal don't know where it's fine since when does tasty have their own selection of spices it's marked though so i ended up eating tim hortons which was the chicken wrap and a hot chocolate a white hot chocolate and instead of fries they gave you a donut so i went with the reindeer isn't that cute? We have reached the end of the day. Work was productive on my end. Maybe not so much for everyone else, just because it was so slow. But I liked it. I just brought my coworker back home, which is not actually far at all from work. And it was nice because you get to talk to your coworkers outside of work. I know, I'm just being repetitive at the moment. What am I trying to say? So I woke up at 7 on the couch. I forgot to film the ending, which is what I was trying to do in the car. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say. Seven months into the project, I'm going through changes. It's going to take some time to see the results. I know I'm just speaking. What's the word? Superficially through. <laughs> a music streaming app and 
also a phone, but adjustments is all we need right now. But yeah, my coworker used one of my cards that I drew while I was at work, and he said that his girlfriend really liked it. So I'm glad to see that. Just little changes, little things. Those things make a lot. Of, those things mean a lot. <laughs> but yeah, hope you had a good day. We'll see you in two days. And good morning, I suppose. Good morning. Hello, my name is Sheldon, and today is December 14th, 2019. It's the 213th day of being 28. It's almost one in the morning, and I just decided to now cook my meals. I was contemplating earlier, around maybe 9 or 10, whether I should be cooking or not. And now here I am, making up my mind. So much fun, right? But earlier on Friday, I went around the mall, maybe four malls exactly, and I got a few things done, but still have a few more things to do. Yeah, two days go by so quickly, but that's life sometimes. My first day off, I brought my amma to the clinic to do blood work, and then we went to dim sum, and then we got her hair cut, which was nice. It's nice to give a break for your relatives who usually do that. And then today, yeah, just the shopping and then contemplating. But today, I don't think it's gonna be so long. It might feel long though. Going to my friend's birthday party, she's been telling us a month in advance to book this day off. So I'm not mentally ready, but I am ready, but yes. I'm sure it's all gonna be good. Eating, socializing, hopefully no drinking. I'll probably be driving anyways, so yeah. But for this meal, I decided to try something different. Lately, I've just been eating a lot of chicken and I'm getting tired of it. Can you believe it? After a year and maybe seven, eight months, I decided to change it up. So we're going to try tofu. And this has tamari, turmeric, paprika, and pepper. The recipe also called for, what is it, liquid smoke? But I don't really know where you can find that. And then there was another one, cumin. But surprisingly, I don't have cumin. That's basically the one spice necessary for Mexican cuisines, so it seems. It, what give its flavor? It, that's the spice that gives the flavor of tacos and burritos, if I'm not mistaken. But if you excuse me, gonna learn how to fry tofu, gonna, what is it? Lightly saute kale, as the recipe calls, and then cut some avocados in half. So I'll probably be done by two. <laughs> yep. I made wild rice which smells awful, but I heard it's high in protein. So here's to getting gains. So this is what it looks like in the pan. It fries for, I don't know, a minute or two. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong, but this is what it looks like so far. It's supposed to be crispy, but I highly doubt it's going to get crispy. But again, We'll see if I love it or hate it for the next five days. So let it be. And now I am going to prepare the kale and I learned a fun way to do it. So basically you take your kale, you go from the bottom of it and then you just pull all the way straight up. <laughs> Maybe not so, but yeah, see? Okay, let's try that again. So once again, you just take your kale, you go from the bottom, and then you just pull up. Clean. And then you have it. And then, basically, I think it's just putting oil, putting it in a pan, and adding salt and pepper. There are other options like putting, what is it, garlic, but because it's one in the morning, because I don't know how to repair my life. 
I might just skip that. But yeah. Oof. Can't believe there's only, what now? 11 days till Christmas. And I am nowhere near ready. But I am getting in the mood now. So that's always fun. It's always good to be in the mood. It makes things much easier. So yeah. I have work at 10 in the morning. So I don't think it'll be a crazy day. But being a weekend, considering that it might rain, we'll see. Yes. Once again, you take it, you peel, and then it's done. So yeah. Now we're just going to prepare the kale, cut it up a bit, and put it all together. Stay tuned. So I finished all of my meal prep. This is for five days. And for a closer look, I have tofu, I have half an avocado, I have wild rice, and underneath is the kale. I stand corrected how long this took, and now it's... 19. It's now about 8.20 in the morning, so I gotta get ready for work. But I woke up to a strange rash. Or at least it's itchy right here. I don't know what it is. But yeah. I slept around at 4 in the morning, so I got 4 hours of sleep. But I don't think it'll be crazy of a day. We'll find out when we get to work. You're all that I need Underneath the tree tonight One of the best Christmas songs in recent. Kelly Clarkson, Underneath the Tree. It's just so cheery, don't you think? <laughs> so yeah, gotta love the Christmas radio stations. I made it to work on time and the shift is going a bit slow but my sister messaged me the other day to look for her husband's news article in the Georgia Strait. It wasn't in last week's but look where it is. In the center, little bird serves up dim sum in kits. Congratulations Jonathan. Still need to try the restaurant. Haven't been there yet but I heard them fantastic reviews. The restaurant opened when I was still in Asia and just haven't had the time to look into it. But if we're doing New Year's resolutions, that's the one thing I wanna do. Go to the restaurant, eat, try the vegan dumplings, see what it's all about. But yeah, not sure how the rest of the day is going to look, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Uh, uh. And I'm done for the day. It was a long day. I didn't even take a break. It was just busy. Well, the first half of the shift wasn't so busy, but yeah, it may be a little bit long, but I could care less. Just waiting for eight o'clock to attend Meg's party. And I'm not sure if I'm going to drive or walk now that I have options for heading home or not heading home, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Just gonna change. Maybe find something to eat before heading to dinner because at least I'll spend less money, right? So I'm just in the staff room. It's about 7.20 at the moment and just eating my lunch that I packed for myself. But yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. It's tasty, but the whole room currently smells like butter chicken. So kind of missing that at the moment, but I change his good ones in a while. Oh yeah. Before finishing work, I made a card for Meg and she really loves the office. So it's this one. It is your birthday. I did take this off the internet, so credits to the person who created that idea. But I thought it was really cute. Not selling it, just giving it away. 
I don't know if I should walk or if I should drive. I'm probably going to drive, but who knows? We'll wait and see. It's about 8.30 in the evening, heading to dinner. Took me a while to find a parking spot, but I did. And thankfully, I don't even have to pay for it. But, going to cross the road before I die. And we're just gonna go to the Union. Have my present ready. Danielle and I got Meg chocolate. She really likes white chocolate. So I hope she really likes it. it. Took me a while to figure out what to get, but it's cute. That's all that matters. Here we are. Let's go inside. I have no idea where they're. So happy to be vegetarian. Noodles, daikon, radish. Yeah. Chicken, the radish, and then there was another ingredient. And that's it. What did you want to do? Oh gosh, no. Happy birthday, dear Meg. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for coming. Selena face. I don't know what the Selena face is. Because it's not a thing. That's why. It's about three in the morning the next day. I passed out around maybe one. I got home a little bit after midnight, but here I am filming the ending. But yeah, it was fun tonight. The party was good. Got to see old friends, catch up with them. And just, it was a very relaxing environment. I'm glad to see everyone enjoying themselves, but yes. Hopefully Meg had a happy birthday. She seemed in a very positive state of mind. So I'm glad to see that. But until then, hope you enjoyed your night and we will see you in two days. Good morning. My name is Sheldon and today is December 17th, 2019. It's the 216th day of being 28. And once again, I passed out on the couch, but I always have someone beside me baby over here. Yeah. Some reason, every morning when my father brings him down, he will come by and sit beside me, even though he is making himself more comfortable at the moment. I'm very tired at the moment. I woke up around 9.30 or 9. Right now it's 9.30 and have to get ready for a workout with Daniel and the couch. But, I don't know, yesterday's workout, it didn't seem hard, but I'm still tired. And then the day before, it was just a long day. Had to stay behind work. Yeah, the joys of Christmas, right? But yeah, we are a few days to my Christmas party. So, have a lot of things to plan. Have to figure out where I'm ordering food. A lot of people saying that they don't know how to cook for a lot of people, but yeah, that's how people work sometimes, right? You just go with the flow, make it easy, but yeah. Stay tuned to see what's happening. I'm pretty sure all I'm doing is working out, eating, going to work, compiling all my countdowns. I've already released all of the countdowns from 2012 to 2017. And today we should be, I should be releasing the countdown from 2018 before heading into my 100 songs of 2019. Yes. <clears throat> but yeah. And then I use pictures of myself as the icon. And it's kind of cool to see, oh wow, I've changed a lot. But change is good. <laughs> Not to be philosophical and all. But yeah, going to have breakfast get ready for the day, and get things started. Thank goodness no one is home because I forgot my clothes, which are in my backpack, and I'm just in my underwear right now, like that. Thankfully, I'm wearing boxer briefs today, whatever they're called, 
Not the biggest fan of boxer briefs, but they're comfy. Okay, once in a while is not bad. It's a little bit dark though on video, but yes. Yeah. Should be heading out soon, get changed, and on my way. Another rainy day in Vancouver, just heading to work out. Contemplating if I should get gas first, but one of my favorite songs that I found this year had to be this remix. It's a song from 2004. You have an idea what it is? on an Instagram post, which is pretty awesome. Oh, Santa, oh no. What does it say? So it's a Tuesday today, and I just passed by a really popular restaurant and it's completely crowded. And I'm wondering, how do people even have time to have brunch at this day? It's like, I don't know. Do people all of a sudden have lunch breaks at 11? But regardless, we're heading to Daniel's place to get my workout going. I'm walking. Oh, I probably shouldn't have crossed the road. But, oh well. Here I am. One more second to cross the road. Now it's yellow. Now I'm oh, good. But in the meantime, take a look at the bull, right? There is a car that just honked. I don't know if it was at me while I was crossing the road. And I looked around, or I turned back, and I noticed it was a car similar to what my brother drove. But I highly doubt he's in the downtown area right now, right? But that was weird. Yeah. But anyways, let's enjoy the music. The Christmas decorations at the grocery store. Almost there. The company name, I move you. One letter away from I love you. If you want business, that's their number. This one is the worst workout ever. I forgot to add weights, so this will be more fun. <clears throat> that death of me. Finished the workout, but it was so long, I didn't even get to do a set of one of the workouts. I'm just drinking this drink that I found at TNT or Yao Han, and it's pronounced Wahaha. And I used to drink this when I was in China. It's basically a yogurt drink, which is really tasty. Yeah, I have two hours left before work. I'm not sure what to do. I wish I still had the book that I was reading. It was the Bitcoin Standard, and I've been so busy that I didn't even have time to read it. But. I read the prologue and the entrance, the introduction. But yeah, probably gonna get something from Starbucks. Gotta use my stars. Stay tuned. Dog holding an umbrella? What? Dog the holding? One on top? Oh, no way. Dog is holding an umbrella. What the heck? That is awesome. And it looks like Alto has a friend. That's my search. Aww, they want to be friends. So badly. Just got myself a Starbucks, a chai tea latte. And it was weird because the barista, I think she heard me say I want a chai tea latte when I asked if I could use my rewards. But it's weird because it's like she knew what I wanted. But anyways. Nice and refreshing as we walk by Hermes. I don't know if you can see anything, but yeah. Purses, horses, 
everything. Walking downtown, I saw a girl with the same umbrella as mine. So, that's a coincidence. People love their Omomo, or Daiso, whatever you call it. I'm quite early to work, if I'm being honest. I have half an hour left before work starts, so I'm gonna eat. Probably see one of management for inquiries or to get everything settled. And then we'll see how the day goes. Hopefully it's not a busy one. Just finished break, which was nice and simple, but the configurations of work are all over the place because some parts of the place needs to get redone, which is natural. But why they have to pick this week? It's like all kinds of stresses. You know, just to add on to your holiday stress. But yeah, let's finish the shift. Look at these textbooks. These are so cool. How to create <laughs> fantasies and win accolades and marketing. It's like becoming a new student. Yay. Love it. So we have reached the end of the day. And it was not all bad today, actually. Actually, the shift went really smooth. But yeah, I am tired from working out, from standing generally from everything, but at least I'm getting back into the swing of things. Made a few mistakes the other day, but going to learn from them, been asking questions, feel pretty accomplished, although I'm not ready for my countdown. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Read a lot of articles at work, all about careers and getting what you want. It was really interesting because you should change the way that you think. Positive enforcement is not necessarily always correct in a workforce. It could be toxic actually. And what's the last thing that I also learned? Write down your goals, spend less time on your phone, unless you're recording. But yeah, do something, make your dreams come true. I can't remember the woman's name, but she accomplished being a dancer in her late 20s. That's amazing. So yeah, anything is possible, even the impossible. But yes, just did a lot of self-reflecting tonight, which is much needed. But yeah, that's just me rambling at the moment until I make something happen. This is life for now. Before ending the night, I made a trip to the gas station because the gas is really cheap. I don't know if you can see it from right over there. It's $1.27, which is pretty cheap for Canadian prices. But yeah, hope you all had a good night. Figure it out what you want to do with your life. If you're not there, that's all right. Take care of yourself. I guess I don't have much else to say. Have a good night. We'll see you in three days. Take care.